Hello, I'm Elijah Roberts, a technical specialist here at ATG USA. And in this session, then we are going to work with profile labels. That's labeling both the profile view and the profile data itself inside the profile view. To do this, first we are going to select on the profile grid and go to our context ribbon up above. In the labels panel, the first panel on the left, we have two buttons that we need to look at. Edit profile labels. If I select that, it will ask me for the actual profile itself. So this isn't the grid label. This is about the profile that's in the profile grid. I select on the profile itself, and then you will get the profile label set. As you can see, there's quite a bit going on here. It's got lines or grade lines or slopes, gray breaks, and then several crest curve and sag curve options that are all being employed. This is the main reason for having a set, so you don't have to manually adjust these each time. I'm going to click on Import Label Set, and then click the drop down on the Select Label Set option. We have the Wiz.Standard employed right now, but let's say you want to go with the Wiz.Standard Ali Description, which would get the description from the alignment properties and import it into here, a plus zero zero. If I select that and then click OK, that changes the settings in some of these, and it even changes some of them around in here. I click OK, and that changes the labels as they are laid out. I'm going to hit Escape here so I can let go of the grid. But you can see the difference in those labels there. If I select the grid again, I go to Edit Profile Labels. I'll select on that profile again, and then select Import Label Set. Click the drop down and select Wiz.Standard. Click OK and OK, and those are back to the way they were. 